welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Eddard's fantastic 148 scale BF110F. Absolute beautiful kit. It's been around a while, but it's now available as a profi pack, which is absolutely fantastic. So, as we can see, fantastic box art on the front. Lovely little bit with the actual strafing run. Uh, by three of them and fantastic markings as you can imagine usual thing so looking around on the box as you can see these are the markings that you're going to get in there real nice variety of choices to go for sort of the winter camo ones versus the sort of normal ones and the ones in between like that or you can do the usual one which is the b1 on the front okay and then looking around so your kit number for this one is 8207 a little bit more down on there and then the kit itself now I haven't actually built this kit. I know lots of people who have, and all reported back saying it's absolutely lovely. So if that will sit just like that, which hopefully it will, you can see the box is absolutely rammed full of plastic. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're going to delve in. I'm just wondering why we've got two fuselages and all the rest of it as usual. Uh-huh, okay, so I'll see we get the both versions down here as well we do get a little bit of resin which is actually a little dash hound we'll look at that in a moment okay and then usual thing being the profi pack we actually get the color instrument panel mask set and fantastic decals to look at as well okay so in the old instructions and our usual way of doing it so as you can see because there's different versions of this one's out out here really v we're not using the v uh fuselage halves looks like it's just the exhaust stacks off of that and then obviously a lot of these for the bombers and things like that obviously we're not going to use we've got different types of props so just making a little bit of a careful note of what parts you're not going to use it's all too easy just to go snipping away and grab the wrong one and before you know it it's too late so, Eddard's normal way of doing things, as you can see down here, they've marked everything in red that you need to remove and replace then, as we got down here, because we do have the full colour photo etch set, which is an absolutely beautiful thing, and a normal bit of photo etch as well, just down in all these areas. So that's the cockpit, okay, and then obviously we've got the seating ones, the rear cockpit ones, the gun systems being fitted down below, okay, and they go underneath the seat instrumentation for the rear cockpit as well and then obviously the ammunition drums and all the feeds as you might imagine for the gun bays as well okay this is because it's got like a belly gun system on this one very sort of reminiscent of the mosquito more gun racks with all the ammunition being put down in there okay right the way through and then the cockpit tub does have side walls which are going to go very nicely together and then put on with the front one and that locks them all in more bits of color photo etch as well and replacement parts going in as you can imagine the fuselage halves, like we said, just make sure you are using B. Okay, we do have two fuselage halves in there, so you just want to be careful of that. Okay, and then the various other parts being fitted in and then working away with the gun. So again, we've got photo etch for the gun sights. Really nice touch with that as well. And the other parts all being fitted in. As you can imagine, lots of photo etch going all around the cockpit to really liven it all up. <clears throat> Next up, fitting in the actual gun system depending which one you're going to go with you're going to go with the twins or the single the nose system being put on okay right the way through as you can see this is the nose system with all the guns all in there again hopefully which you, i think you can you can have it with the top part open or closed just down here at the bottom as you see it okay so that way you can have it showing if you wanted to or close it all up mask set obviously provided for the wheels and the various other things the canopies the glass works and they also pointing out opening up the wing holes for the ones you actually want and then the sort of engine nacelle areas okay detailing those up for obviously for the where the wheel folds up engine nacelles going together not too much of those okay not shouldn't be a problem two of those together fitting them in test fit that area that's the only thing it's well known that you get a small step on the top of the nacelle. Again, if it's just taken care of early, it saves a lot of work later on trying to blend it all in and everything else like that. Control surfaces all being fitted down on there. Then we actually got the main gear wheel uh, being fitted in and the tire system, okay. Exactly the same on the other. We've got the doors being fitted in, aerials for the rear, okay. And then we've got the counterbalances for the wing system, the grill being fitted on, landing light. The exhaust stacks, again, making sure you've got the correct one. We do have two types of exhaust stacks in there as well. And then all that glass work, which you would have masked up, probably using the mask set. There's plenty of it. You might as well take advantage of it. Armor glass being fitted onto the front depending on which versions you're doing okay canopy open or closed it's an open top canopy system they jump down into 
they are stuck, just the bombs. So you've got the bomb racks on the actual the wings and then the belly system being put in there for the guns as well. Okay, so that's gonna fit all of those in just like that. And then at the front, depending on the version you're actually doing, if you're doing the radar guided one, and then obviously you're gonna be putting that one in with the radar system on the front. Markings, as you can see, are absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we've got the one, uh, which in the Soviet uh, Union conflict in June uh, 1942 for that one with a very famous I think it's a Hornet actually on the front of it down in there okay and then either you've got the winter markings which are absolutely stunning in this particular aircraft as well uh, for Finland area 1942-1943 we've got Norway then okay and again nice little bit of nose art on that one as well being fitted right in there okay and then another snow with actually under wing marking okay and that one is uh, the Romania 1944 or you've got France June 1943 with that sort of normal color scheme that we've actually got on the back universal stencil data as you can see fantastic usual thing with them very nicely detailed uh, and things like that so we said before we do get I won't bother getting them out as you can see we've got four color um, instruments down in here this is actually the better harness set as well it's like the steel set as I call it because they're all colored and done in one that's actually a really nice touch with those all the radio gear all the bits and pieces you can imagine down on there and like we said before we do get more photo etch for things like radiators all those types of areas down below on that as well so very nice to see those pop those down there Mask set, as you can imagine, the standard sort of Eddard die cut masks. Again, because there's a lot of glass work on here, you might as well take a full advantage of it. Decals, I can't really see the point of getting these out, as you can see, beautifully done. Eddard do take uh, get them done very, very nicely. And uh, they're done by Cartograph. And as I say, we've got the little dash hand down on there as well really nice indeed and a clever way that they've done the SWAT sticker we were talking about this obviously being a you know European country um, it's pretty much legal everywhere so what they actually do is get around the problem by doing the SWAT sticker but I haven't seen it done in that particular way before that's quite a clever way of getting around the issues of printing it so instead of having it in parts or diagonals they've gone for the motion you just slip the center into it which actually is quite a nice way around that problem okay so this is the little guy we'll have a look at him Here's our little, I think he's a dash hound, looks like one. Sausage dog as I know it, but there we go. Nice little resin reproduction of him. Absolutely beautifully done. Very nicely cast on his own little plinth. Okay, so a little bonus item for you. Okay, so let's have a look in the giant mags of screws. So, this kit is available in many, many different options and flavours uh, of this. And as we can see down in here, we've got the big bulge on the bottom there as well. So that's a different version uh, and things like that. So what we do, we just look around everything as a whole and then we'll pick out the interesting bits. Very much, as you can see, right the way through the different ones down here. So we've got various noses, as I said, just make sure you're happy with the parts that are for your particular model as you're going right the way through. So, usual thing, if we have a, a look-see on the close cam, as you can see, really very nice detail. Very fine uh, recessed uh, panel lines, recessed rivets, lots of them, which we absolutely adore and love. So that's very nice. This is our belly system down in here and the noses as you can see them on control surfaces again we've got a little bit of marking on here this is where it's been to be honest pulling around inside the bag a little bit and it's gouged itself up but it won't take too much to get those out generally though very nice we do have a small amount of flash on this okay but again a couple of passes with a sanding stick will have no problem with that at all internal details as you can see inside the cockpit we've got a little bit of wiring up here some of the bulkheads molded in things like that on that side of it as you can see so again really very very nice clean crisp very sharp details wing section which is pretty much universal with these as you can imagine again these are absolutely beautiful when you catch these in the light you can actually see extremely fine and when we say extremely fine we mean probably the finest riveting detail I've seen on 148 scale kit those and their Spitfires I don't know how they do it that fine but it is absolutely beautifully done okay so very very nice deals on those as well and again the underside just on this side, we've got the molded in wheel well, which is all done, raised riveting down in there. 
everything that you'd imagine to be. So these raised rivets are very nice, they're very sharp. The ones on the wing area, they're all recess riveting. Really nice indeed. And obviously we've got two of those for both sides, as you can imagine. Okay, again, on the inside, you can see beautiful machining marks as well. Very nicely done. It's very clean, crisp, right the way through, just like that. Okay, so I can't remember which props we were using, but we've got various different types of props and various things in here, as you might imagine, on this particular one. And again, really very clean. No real flash on this sprue at all, but it is uber cleanly molded. If we start up here, you can see very, very nicely done indeed. No problems with any of these parts down here on the sprues. Nice, clean, sharp molding absolutely everywhere and i'm assuming this is like the radiator area down here all the parts are really sharp to touch which is always a good sign we've got some internal details down in here and the inside the actual um you can see them just over here this is the internals for the main gear undercarriage doors really nice recessed details and the little internal bulge into those no problem but really very very nice machining again you just do have a little bit of flash but probably being very picky deemed to bring it up because it's very fine and would be very easy to actually remove but generally very very nice indeed okay quite a busy sprue here we've got loads of bits on here as you can probably see plenty of parts no mist moles no nothing but areas of interest you've literally got down in here um, over here we've actually got the gun systems various things as you can imagine very clean nicely molded all the parts very fine on the sprues, how these are actually attached to the sprues, the actual uh, locations and things, nicely done. Very detailed kit, very, very detailed kit. These over here, these are the exhaust stacks, multiples of them as you might imagine. There is no real hollowing on the end of them, but uh, as you can see, we do have some very, very fine parts on here. Again, really very nicely done. This, the, these little guys down here are extremely thin. You can see them on here, very, very nice indeed. Cool, okay. So, bombs. <clears throat> okay, various different types of bombs on here. And bomb racks, uh, and looks like giant rocket pods as well. And we've actually got the old teardrop uh, fuel tanks as well. Various sizes and scales, pretty much generic to what you would imagine. Again, clean, crisp no problem at all one piece spray white uh, braces down on here again a little bit of flash on them just a little bit of cleanup required but generally very nice indeed okay back to <clears throat> so in here we know we don't take any notice of the fuselage sections on this one but i think we do use the nacelle if i'm correct okay so <clears throat> down in here we're actually going to be using these uh engine exhaust systems coming off of it some various parts, I think on this one, the actual main, um, these parts up here, we're not using at all. So pretty much what you'd expect. No problem with that at all. It's pretty good. Okay, so down in here, I think these are more our props. Um, so we've got various items in, clean, crisp, no problem at all. The engine nacelles are very nice. There is a little bit of flash on them, but again, it's only, you know, you can rub them off with your finger beautifully done incredibly sharp detail so over on here <clears throat> we've got the instrument panel we've got the two options as well which is quite nice because what i'm assuming they've done is they've just sanded the details off of one for you so you can actually just place the color photo etch if you wanted to straight onto it the nose spinner again beautifully done it's got riveting details everything around it just like that engine the cells very nicely done clean crisp incredibly nice detail on those very very thin riveting detail and latches and also we've got the panel lining things like that have gone into those the prop itself again very nice a little bit of flash on it okay and then we've obviously got the big cannon on the front not sure if that's our version and again a little bit of sprue mark just down on these but nothing too much at all and then really it's a mirror on the other side we've got the floor deck over here very nice indeed very very similar to the Spitfire kit and it's designed the way it is it's crispness it's niceness of the parts and everything else like that and really it's detail it's extremely well detailed kit okay so down over here we've got undercarriage various items around the actual nacelles 
uh, and things like that going on incredibly sharp details on all of these this color sprue i know doesn't stand up very well to my cutting mat on this but you can probably see how clean and sharp all of these little parts are they are very very nicely done no problem that just down here we've got the actual main undercarriage with the, the actual uh, covers over the actual um, the actual suspension on those uh, with the covers on them really very very nice indeed again no flash and when you look at some of the fineness of the details on here they are literally that fine you'd expect almost to have it have flash or damage but it doesn't they are absolutely perfect okay so we've got uh, more tailplanes I'm not sure which ones we should have been using that's what we're saying about making sure it's all okay very very nice indeed clear crisp sprue again the attachment points very fine on where they need to be uh, and other things you know it's just highly detailed a lot more detailed than you'd imagine really in a 148 scale to be honest there's more detail in this than i've seen on a lot of 132 kits okay you know things like the seats got a little bit of flash on things generally very very nice around all of those okay and last up <coughs> I don't think it's for this version or well obviously a couple of the versions down in there but this is the one which has actually got the uh i think it's called the neptune system onto it which was actually the radar we've got some of the guns uh obviously some of the bomb backs as well uh the fins for those very fine everything is absolutely perfect again i did it in 30 seconds and replaced some of them some of the aerials to be honest have got a little bit of bending on them it would have been nice if these were separate bagged but nothing's broken which is the main thing really very very nice indeed okay clear parts <clears throat> okay so again really very very nice this is why you're going to be using their nice um, die cut masking set because otherwise that's a lot of masking work to do down on there various different types on there and things as you make your way through but it will save you probably sanity uh, by doing those really very very nice so actually what you've got is the front and rear sections of this again very nice indeed and then this last one over here <clears throat> okay, pop him out really very nice so we've got the front and then down here we've actually got the top parts armored glass for the front and sides things like that and then obviously we've got the little gun sight on there as well and they are totally totally clear beautifully done no problems with those at all maybe a little bit of distortion in the top of this guy just down on here but that's being really picky now trying to find fault with it so there we go that is Eddard's beautiful uh, and I have to say it, you know when you're looking at detail and the sort of finesse of the kit and things like that it is extremely nice you are going to have to watch it putting it together because obviously I have heard the horror stories about the engine the cells having to have play with and yet I've heard other people say to me dry fitting them a little bit of sanding you get them right they fit beautifully you don't have to mess around if you rush it and chuck them together and just try and put them in you're going to end up with a step so just take your time around about the engine the cells and you'll be absolutely fine as you probably will with this entire kit it's very complicated in its design and it's very small as well so obviously it's going to be a lot of work to actually get it together but also when you look at the price that like we've got this thing in stock with PM models for 27 pounds that's a fantastic kit for that type of money so really you can't knock it so there we go that is the Eddard's 148 scale BF 110F